We do want to get right to the weather this morning with meteorologist Candace Campos. There's a lot of ifs, potentials, possibles with this, Candace, still <laughs> yeah. trying to figure itself out. Yeah, all the words we're going to be using in the next couple of days. It, right, as of right now, it's still potential tropical cyclone number nine. That has not changed. It's still lacking a defined center of circulation, and we need that to then move into the tropical storm Isaias category. That's not the case right now, but it's still very impressive looking when it comes to the satellite imagery. Got those bright colors. We're starting to see a lot of that thunderstorms really kind of centering itself, but as of now, as of the 5 a.m. up, Date, there is still no center, so we still don't have a tropical storm. And it is going to have to battle a lot of, a lot of uh, mountainous terrain in the next couple of days. So it needs to get its act together pretty quickly for it to survive areas like Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. Of course, we hope it doesn't. But let's talk about the current conditions right now. 45 mile per hour sustained winds right now as it moves towards the west northwest at about 23 miles per hour. Here's the close up cone. This is what we're talking about. All of central Florida is still under the cone of concern. But of course, some models take it out to the Atlantic. Some taking it out to the Gulf, some bring it right across central Florida. So right now that line that you see that just skirts parts of southwest Florida and up the west coast is pretty much the average of what we can expect. The main concern with this system, because you can see how slow it will be moving by Sunday and Monday, will be flooding.